Hi guys, welcome back to our tutorial series on YouTube brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. As a student, the O3 Schools Jam app is your best bet for whatever examinations you have coming up. So do well to download the O3 Schools Jam app from Play Store and activate it today. Faith, courage and protection is our topic for today's class. Faith, courage and protection. In this class, we want to examine the story of Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They showed great courage and faith in God, and God protected them. They were captives taken from Jerusalem to Babylon when King Nebuchadnezzar besieged Jerusalem during the reign of Joachim. Now, let's see how they demonstrated great courage and faith in God. First, the story of Shadrach. Meshach and Abednego in Daniel chapter 3. So, King Nebuchadnezzar made a golden image with a height of 60 cubits. and a width of six cubits. He placed the image in Babylon, in the plains of Dura, and he invited all his officials to the dedication of this golden image. At the dedication of the image, it was announced that at the sound of musical instruments such as harp, flute, horn, it is seen. At the sound of musical instruments, everyone in Babylon was to fall down and worship this golden image. And anyone who refused to do that would be thrown into a furnace. Now, it was reported to the king that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not do as the king had asked. They didn't bow down to worship the golden image. They didn't even worship the king's gods. The king sent for them, and in the king's presence, they acknowledged that they would not fall down before the king's golden image. And even when the king asked them which, of, which god would deliver them from the furnace or from him, they told him that their god, their god is able to save them from the burning furnace and save them from the king's hands. Out of anger, the king ordered that the furnace be heated to seven times the usual temperature. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were bound and thrown in. The furnace was extremely hot that the men that threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the furnace were consumed by the heat and they died. But then it astonished the king and his officials how the three bound men thrown into the furnace became four loosed men walking about in the fire. The king asked them to come out and they came out. They were not hot. Not even the smell of smoke was on them. The king then decreed that anyone who spoke against their God would be killed for no other God could deliver like their God. Not only that, they were also promoted in the province. So we see how their faith in God led others to believe that God could deliver. Nobody could deliver like God. Then we look at the story of Daniel. In Daniel chapter 6. King Darius appointed 120 satraps. And three governors. So King Darius appointed 120 satraps and three governors over the whole kingdom. And the satraps were to report to the governors. Daniel was one of the governors. Daniel was one of the three governors. Daniel was one of the three governors and he distinguished himself above other satraps and governors because an excellent spirit was in him. 
The king favored him, even considered giving him control of the entire kingdom. The other governors and satraps sought to find fault in Daniel so that they could bring up a charge against him, but they were none. They couldn't find any fault in him. They then met the king and asked him to sign a decree that anyone who petitioned, that no one should petition any god, rather, no one should petition any god or man in 30 days except the king. Anyone who disobeyed will be thrown into the lion's den. Now, Daniel prayed three times daily, facing Jerusalem. Even after the decree had been signed, Daniel still prayed to his God, showing his courage. The other governors and satraps reported Daniel to the king. And as much as the king tried to save Daniel, he could not. So Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. The king was sleepless. He prayed and fasted for Daniel all night. And very early, the king arose. And when they called out for Daniel, Daniel answered him. Daniel was not hurt because God had shut the mouth of the lions. God had shut the mouth of the lions. The king then happily asked that Daniel be brought out of the lion's den and all his accusers as well as their family members be thrown into the lion's den where the lion consumed them even before they got to the bottom of the den the king also decreed that everyone worship the god of daniel for he is the living god his dominion endures forever he delivers and he rescues just like he rescued daniel from the lion's den so this is the story the story of daniel Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are great courage and faith in God and how God protected them. Also, how this now led to others believing in God. We see in the case of Daniel, the king concurred that Daniel's God was the living God and his dominion endures forever. Also, in the case of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, King Nebuchadnezzar agreed that no other God could deliver like this like their god on the old tree schools jam up some questions that have been asked under this topic the men who threw shadrach meshach and abednego into the fiery furnace were a consumed by the flames b promoted by the king c amazed that the hebrews were not hot d assisted to escape from being burnt a they were consumed by the flames the furnace was exceedingly hot that the flames consumed even those that didn't enter but they went through close daniel was distinguished above all other satraps and presidents because he a worshipped only one god b had an excellent spirit in him c refused to worship the golden image d interpreted the king's dream b bible recorded that he distinguished himself above the other satraps because he had an excellent spirit in him if it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. The statement above portrays Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego as A, men of faith, B, disillusioned men, C, stubborn men, D, men, of, men with pride, A, men of faith. They had faith in God that God would save them from the burning fiery furnace. So that statement showed or it portrayed that they were men of faith. Another question goes to us. Daniel could not be harmed by the lions because A, an angel shut the mouth of the lions. B, the lions were not hungry. C, a pillar of cloud separated Daniel from the lions. D, Daniel understood their language. A, an angel shut the mouth of the lions. These are just a few questions that I pulled out from the O3 Schools Jam app. If you download and activate, you can have access to many more and other features too that the app has to offer. So do well to download the O3 Schools Jam app.